In her smash hit song Seven Rings, Ariana Grande sings, Whoever said money can't solve your problems must not have had enough money to solve them. Most people would probably consider that a pretty hot take, but when you've got a reported 100 million in your bank account, the entire world is your oyster. Ariana Grande is one of the highest paid and most popular celebrities on the planet at the moment. She's over 188 million followers on Instagram alone and generally earns between 20 to 30 million dollars a year. With everyone going crazy over her new video, Stuck With You, where she reveals the identity of her new boyfriend, real estate agent Dalton Gomez, Ariana has found herself once more where she's most comfortable as the center of attention. But what does notoriety like hers buy? Well, a whole lot actually. Whether it's dream homes on both coasts, or working with the likes of Coach, MAC Cosmetics, Lipsy London, or Reebok, rest assured that it's only the best of the best, top shelf quality products that Ariana associates her lifestyle with. After all, the other thing she made crystal clear in Seven Rings was, I want it, I got it. That's right, what Ariana Grande wants, she more than often gets. But how did a young girl go from working on Nickelodeon television shows to one of the most beloved and successful pop stars ever, with an estimated net worth of a hundred million dollars? Today you're gonna find out. What's going on guys and girls, it's Kara and welcome back to the Millionaire Life series here for you on Famous Entertainment. Remember, unlike our other series, this one investigates those celebs with more than six figures in their bank accounts, living in the very lap of luxury. Ariana might just barely meet that threshold, but no one can deny that she's the very embodiment of extravagance. We did a couple of other videos like this on Kylie Jenner and Harry Styles, so be sure to check those out if you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to keep the suggestions coming in for who you'd like to see next on this series. After all, you guys decide. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe if you're new. Now let's get into Ariana Grande's millionaire life. Ariana Grande was born in Boca Raton, Florida on June 26, 1993. She began studying voice and acting while still in elementary school, paving the way for her to join the hit Broadway musical 13 in 2008. She then left high school and began being homeschooled in order to pursue her passion for acting. In 2009, she landed the Nickelodeon sitcom Victorious, which aired from 2010 to 2013. Despite being a fresh face at this point, she was already banking $9,000 per episode. Free hugs! Who wants a free hug? That's the weirdest thing I've walked in on here. I'm oh. hugging you! Dad, I love karaoke! Dad! What? Shh! Your doctor said you weren't supposed to talk! He didn't say I couldn't say! She also got paid an extra sum for writing original music for the series, including $4,000 for a theme song and $3,000 for tracks played in various other episodes. Despite finding success as an actress, Ariana was looking for a different form of creative fulfillment, and in 2013, she released her debut album, Yours Truly, which featured appearances from artists like Big Sean and Mac Miller. It briefly hit the number one spot on the US Billboard Top 200 chart and sold between 100,000 and 120,000 copies in its first week. From that point on, music would become her ticket to worldwide fame and it helped her amass the bulk of her fortune. She sold over 1.7 million albums in the US alone, and even her singles both sales worth an estimated 29.5 million, with top sellers including Problem featuring Iggy Azalea and The Way featuring Mac Miller. Her Dangerous Woman tour grossed an estimated 71 million dollars, which was high enough to rank as one of the largest grossing tours in 2017, and that's on top of the roughly 50,000 dollars she was making in merchandise sales each and every night of the tour. <laughs> By 2019, she had two number one albums in the span of six months, Sweetener and Thank You Next, and she became the youngest and only the fourth female artist to ever headline Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival in April when she was paid a reported $8 million for her appearance. Her most recent Sweetener World Tour ranked in around $1 million for every city it stopped in. Outside of music, Ariana is practically just as busy. She's worked with some of the biggest fashion houses in the world, including the likes of Coach, which she released a limited handbag through. She debuted a line called Viva Glam for MAC Cosmetics, the proceeds of which all went to the MAC AIDS Fund. <laughs> Hi. 
world. <laughs> I'm Ariana Grande and the inspiration for my Viva Glam shades was the good girl vibe and the bad girl vibe. Everybody has a little bit of both in them so I wanted to express that with these colors. 100% of the proceeds are going to the Mac AIDS Fund. Like every single penny goes to people affected with HIV and AIDS that need medicine, food, and no other brand does that so that makes it 10,000 times more exciting to me. She also launched a highly successful fashion line with Lipsy London. Shooting my Lipsy campaign and I'm very excited about it. It's very girly and youthful, and there are some sexier ones, there are some you know, more playful, younger ones. And Strauss is here, he really likes the outfits. He's been like totally digging all the looks so far. And don't forget about one of her signature looks, cat ears. She collaborated with Brooks Stone and artist Wen Ging Wan to create a pair of headphones in the shape of her favorite hair accessory. Speaking of the very first item we're gonna start off with from Ariana Grande, what a mega star, a superstar when it comes to a musician, an artist, a singer, such an incredible talent. And with the partnership of Brookstone, we are bringing you headphones like you have never seen before. Look at how cute these are with the cat ears. In 2017, she became a brand ambassador for Reebok. What it means to be human is being as accepting as possible of yourself and evolving. We're never done. And in 2019, she partnered with luxury French fashion designer Givenchy to become the face for their fall winter campaign. Oh yeah. Mama sing about what's happening right now. Shooting my campaign for she for she. That's right, baby. Try me. Can't. All of these endorsements are pulling in millions upon millions of dollars for Ariana, but none of them are quite as successful as the seven fragrances she's released through Lux Brands. Scents like Moonlight, Sweet Light Candy, and Ari have generated more than $150 million in global revenue since the first scent hit the market in 2015. On my way to my commercial shoot for my first ever fragrance called Ari. <laughs> I decided to call it that because it's personal. It's my first fragrance ever. I love fragrances. In my whole life, I've collected perfume. That's my favorite smell ever. If I could smell like one thing, I would want it to be this. All right, now that we've tracked the majority of the ways Ariana earns her money, let's get into the fun stuff, how she spends it. Since we're already talking about it, let's stick with fashion for a sec. If you follow Ariana's Instagram, then you already know beyond a shadow of a doubt that she loves high-end fashion brands. We're talking Gucci boots worth around $1,800 a pair, or Louis Vuitton skirts worth $1,200. She's also partial to luxury Italian brand Fendi, whose sales may well top that of Louis Vuitton in the near future. After all, this jacket alone set her back over $2,300 even when she's just out for a walk with her dogs, she's worth a fortune with an ensemble of a mesh Kivon crop top worth $34, a Prix Kuma windbreaker worth $100, American Apparel Mason Fleece sweatpants worth $54, and sneakers worth $360, as well as a Fendi bag to top it all off worth oh just $650. That outfit might make her the least normal normie ever. I could go on and on with Ariana's fashion purchases, but I think you guys get the point, so let's move on to real estate. Ariana's primary residence is six thousand square foot home in Beverly Hills which features five bedrooms and boasts expansive views of Hollywood Hills including an impressive outdoor seating area with a pool and a hot tub. she spends her time in her 4,000 square foot apartment located within the Zaha Hadid building worth a reported $16 million. It's unclear if she just rents or owns the four bedroom Manhattan residence, but she initially intended to share it with her former fiance, Pete Davidson. sold her former house in Boca Raton for an estimated $4.3 million. When you work as hard as Ariana Grande does, there's no point in sparing any expenses when it comes to a little downtime, and in 2017, it was reported that she would spend as much as $10,000 a night to stay in a massive winter wonderland at a Colorado Airbnb. Finally, when you're constantly on the move, you need some reliable vehicles to get you around, and Ariana has been spotted in a Range Rover valued at $94,000. 
All right, that brings us to the end of Ariana Grande's millionaire life. What do you guys think about her spending habits? It seems to me like she's still easing herself into the comfortable life, being careful not to spend too much money on necessary extravagances, while still showing off just how much she's worth and that her taste is most definitely on point. Let me know who you want to see next in the comments down below. My name is Kara, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Don't forget to find me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye!